I'm Mike with First Aid Exotics, back with another video. Uh, today is going to be a very special video uh, because, uh, we're, as you all know, we moved in, recently moved into a new facility. Uh, I wasn't expecting any of our females to really go this year. Um, we were lucky enough to where half of our females actually did go. So I was trying to, uh, I have several males and females that I'm trying to prove out to be het for what uh, I bought them as. So this year uh, we decided to go ahead and just try to prove things out this year. So today's, uh, we're going to do an egg cutting on clutch number seven. And, uh, that was a pastel female clown to a pastel inchy het clown male. So let's go ahead and dive in and see if he proves out. Okay. As you all can see, we had some pippers. Um, if you come, oops, sorry, buddy over here, as you can see, he already proved out. We have, it looks like just from the head an inchy clown. And then over here, we have, looks like to be just a clown. Now, everything in this clutch that is not clown will be 100% het because the mother was a visual. So, let's go ahead and get this guy or girl that's already out of the egg. This is definitely at least a pastel. 100% het for clown. The pattern is kind of telling me this might be inchy. We'll know 100% for sure once it uh, sheds out. But I think this might be a pastel inchy or just a pastel. All right, let's go ahead and cut some eggs. And again, um... This is clutch seven. Put that right there for now. Let's go ahead and free up some of these. My goal uh, with this clutch was, like I said, for one, just to kind of prove the male out. But I would like to have a uh, pastel inchy female, uh, clown female. But I'll be happy with just a female inchy. Um, I'm pretty positive that this is a female, or I'm sorry, not female, but a inchy clown. Just because of the way the head stamp is, kind of. I'm not really getting... Oh yeah, you could tell uh, how solid the uh, alien heads on the side are. That this definitely is inchy. And the black solid door, so I don't know if the camera can pick that up or not. Right there. So this is definitely inchy. I was hoping for at least a more reduced inchy, but definitely a inchy clown. get this guy or girl oh yeah he did a number okay honestly that kind of looks inchy to me too We'll know for sure when it comes out of the egg, but that definitely looks kind of inchy as well. So possible, uh, definitely a clown, possibly an inchy clown. All right, let's get this little fella. Perfect. 
Okay, now I can tell you for a fact this is a pastel inchy. That's actually a beautiful pastel inchy, 100% het for clown. That is beautiful. Okay. So far we have two 100% het clowns and two visuals. Uh, knowing we did a visual to a het, half the clutch uh, should be uh, visual and half should be het. I will not complain if we have more visuals than hets. We had eight eggs and one slug with this girl. So let's go ahead. Say, wow, that was stuck on there pretty good. Okay. All right, now that's what I'm talking about. We have another clown. Possible inchy clown. All right, we'll go with this one. Oh, wow, look at that. That's definitely going to be a pastel clown, at least. I was wondering if I was going to hit on any of the pastel. We have potential to hit supers in here. That's definitely going to be a pastel clown. I'd love to hit a killer clown. A killer clown is a super pastel clown. Alright, looks like a pastel inchy, 100% heck for clown. Wow, I can't believe we've not hit no super pastels, not even... The hats, that's crazy. Alright, our very last egg. And another past that might be actually that might be pastel inchy. It's definitely awfully uh bright and yellow. We'll know for sure as soon as um it comes out of the egg. But it's definitely at least a pastel clown.
Okay, let's uh, go ahead and uh, recap what we have here. Uh, we have what I believe to be an Enchi Clown right here. Um, I think this is an Enchi Clown as well. Um, but there is a chance that this could be just a regular clown. I'll know more when he gets out and I can actually see his pattern a little better. Uh, we have a Pastel Enchi 100% Het Clown here. This uh, guy or girl, um, with the patterns that uh, it's got with the colors, I'm pretty positive that this is going to be an Enchi Clown as well. Um, as you can see, after the, um, let me actually pick it up, see if you all can see it a little better. The oxygen actually has hit uh, this guy or girl a little bit. How nice and beautiful yellow it's getting. Um... It's definitely at least pastel Enchi, I think. Um, there could be a chance that this could be the killer Enchi clown with how bright it's get, uh, starting to color up. Uh, I'll know for sure as soon as it comes out of the egg. Um, I hope that is what it is and it's a female so I can hold this, uh, this one back. Then we also have another pastel as blushed out as the head is, it could be a super, but I honestly, to me, it, the, the body just don't look like a super from all the supers that I've produced before in the past. Um, but I definitely think it's at, le at least for sure a pastel Enchi. Um, could be just a pastel with, um, you know, being het for clown, giving it that little extra cleanliness to it. Uh, we have another pastel clown here. Uh, I'm pretty positive that that's not um, Enchi. Um, it's starting to color up as well. So maybe that could be a uh, super pastel. Because uh, I don't know if the camera's picking it up. But just within the couple minutes of us cutting the clutch, it has really started to uh, brighten up. And then we have over here... Which this, there's a good chance that this one right here might be a super pastel Enchi. Uh, just because it's really bright and light. Um, and again, you know, since we've cut the clutch, uh, it's gotten lighter and brighter uh, since the oxygen has hit it. But we do know for a fact it's at least a pastel Enchi 100% Het for Clown. So, you know, out of um, eight eggs... We had six visuals, so I definitely can't complain about that. I'm definitely happy with the odds. Uh, I'm just hoping that uh, I'll be able to hold one of these uh, back. You know, one of these uh, that I'm looking for be a female so I can hold it back. All right. So what did you all think about that clutch? Um, you know, the beginning of this season, you know, when we found out that, uh, you know, most of our females weren't going to go because of the move. You know, of course, you, you get upset a little bit. You're like, oh, man. But, you know, it is what it is. And then when we finally found out that some of them were going to go and our first couple clutches didn't turn out too hot, you know, with the odds. And then, of course, you know, clutch two, the uh, male didn't prove out. So, you know, I was like, man, this is really going to be a bad year. But so far, our odds have been getting better and better with each clutch. You know, this is just another reason or not reason, but another way of showing that, you know, don't never give up. Just keep pushing forward, and you're going to hit the odds eventually regardless. You know, when, you, when you're breeding, things happen. Just don't give up. Uh, we ended up hitting six visuals out of eight eggs, which I think is awesome. Uh, we definitely hit a couple of the uh, um, snakes that we were wanting to uh, hit, so hopefully they're going to be females. Uh, comment down below. Let me know what you all think. Uh, the video, don't forget, we're still doing our 500 subscriber giveaway. So do not forget to hit the bell to get notified when uh, I upload a video. That way you know, and we'll see you next time.